Hello children. Today once again we will continue with our lesson which we started yesterday that is matter. This is part 2 of matter. Yesterday we discussed that there are three states of matter that is solid, liquid and gas. So in these the three states the matter exists. We we'll also discussed about the solids. These are some examples of solids. The solids which you see around yourself: ice, bricks, wood, diamond, glass, watch, your furniture, ah, uh, books, bags, toys, all are solid. And the what are the properties of solid? That solid have definite shape, and it is hard and strong. you can easily pick up a solid thing and place it in another place so because the molecules of solids the are packed very close to each other i told you the the intermolecular space in the solid is very less very very less or you can say there is no intermolecular space in the solids so this makes the solid hard and strong it gives the definite shape to the solid we cannot change the shape of a solid easily or you cannot press it or change the shape of a solid it needs a great efforts to change the shape of a solid so it has definite shape and it has also got definite volume so the solids are strong hard they have got definite shape and definite volume the intermolecular space in the solid is very very less or no intermolecular space is there now another uh, state of matter is liquid water milk juices are all in liquid state and we cannot carry liquid in our hands like we can do with the solids liquids needs a container for that if you want to fill some liquid you need a container for that and whatever container container you use the liquid will take that the shape of that container so liquids has not got definite shape the liquid will take the shape of a container the intermolecular space in liquids is more why because the molecules are arranged far from each other there is space in between the two molecules you can see in the picture so the intermolecular space in liquids is more and the because the molecules are placed apart from each other that is why the liquids do not have any definite shape it takes the shape of a container and because of the space around the molecules the molecules can move easily and that is why the liquids can flow but liquids have definite volume though it does not have definite shape the volume of the liquid remains the same it is definite this is all about the liquids i'll also give you some more examples of the liquids that is juice water oil milk soft drinks vinegar that are all in the liquid form this is what we discussed previously now another state of matter is gases gases means you can also say the air is a gas the air which is around us it is everywhere so that is a type of a gas this air we can we know the uses of air that is first of all we air is used to breathe we breathe the air then the air here are, here are the examples of gases means the where the gases are used like to or uh, to fill the balloon to fill the football or to fill the tire of a uh, tire of a cycle 
or any other vehicle. You know, we, we fill the air. So that is in a gas state. Okay. These are just the examples. Now, here we can talk more about the gases. That is, air is a gas. Now, the arrangement of the molecules in gases is even different from what solids and what it is in solids and liquids. Here, the molecules are very far apart from each other. More, more farther than than what they are in the liquids. So that they can move easily around in the space everywhere. Okay. So they move around freely in the space available to them. And that is why gas does not have any definite shape. It does not have any definite shape because the intermolecular space in between the molecules or you can say the space between the molecules or intermolecular space is more is most in gases as compared to liquids so the molecules are arranged far apart from each other they can move easily and that is why they does not have any definite shape another thing molecules of a gas can be squeezed into a small container or spread in a big container you know many of you must have used perfume or your parents must be using the perfume is there in a small bottle and if suppose that bottle if you keep the uh, cap of the bottle loose what will happen in the full room or in the full house it will spread there with the air, the smell of the perfume will spread. It, it means that the air can, tra can move freely into the, the gas can move freely into the room. And with it, the smell of the perfume will also move. So, you can say that it can be squeezed into a small container or in a big container. See here, I will give you one example. This is the balloon. When you blow air into a balloon, the air is squeezed into the balloon. So, air you will fill the balloon with the air. But if you prick it, if you prick it, all the air will come out and it will, it will spread into the room. Right? It will spread around you and then it occupies a larger volume, larger space, larger volume. So that is why you can say that it does not have any definite volume. So the gases does not have definite shape or it does not have definite volume. Same way as I told you in a, in a case of a perfume bottle. Okay, even if little it is, uh, if the cap is loose, the, with the air it will spread. Huh? Even the essence stick that we, that we, light it to the god hmm? that also when you light it with the air the, the smell spreads everywhere with the air so the air is the medium by which this smell can spread everywhere and air is a type of gas so gas occupies the space it does not have definite shape or definite volume the molecules are far apart from each other and they can travel and they occupy the space which is around you. And so you can say that it does not have definite shape or definite volume. So this is all about the three types, the three states of matter, solid, liquid and gas. Hope you understood another part, the remaining. Now, do you know? that these three states of matter that is solid liquid and gas can they change from one one state to another yes so now we will discuss about the change of states matter can change from one state to another how mm -hmm. by heating or by cooling to understand this we have to conduct one small activity what you have to do you have to take some ice cubes from the refrigerator 
okay and put it put them in some a uh, bowl or the plate or dish and leave them outside for some time what happens what will happen the ice will melt you know that and if the ice melts what will happen it will change into the water it will turn into a water so ice was first of all ice is a solid form of water now it is solid it has got definite shape the cube shape okay if you are taking ice cubes it is of cube shape and is also hard so it is in solid state now if you put it outside outside the refrigerator it will melt and the ice will turn into water yes now what you have to do you have to ask some adult or your parent your mother to take that water which has melted from the ice that water you put it on a gas to boil tell your mother to put that water to boil and what will happen you will say that water will start boiling after some time and it will evaporate and escape into the air as steam the water will turn into the vapor and it will mix into the air as steam so now what is that state of matter that is gas so the water the ice which was in solid state the water which was in the solid state in form of ice after removing from the refrigerator it turned into the liquid form that is into the water and then that water when you put it in to put it to boil it will turn into it will evaporate means it will turn into the vapor or or steam and it will mix into the air that is a again another state that is gas state so you can say that the matter can change from one state to another by heating see here here i have shown solid liquid gas on heating ice on removing from the refrigerator it turns into the water means because of the heat outside heat again if you further heating that water will change into the water vapor now the water vapor which has changed which, which is which has changed from the boiling water to water vapor that water vapor after cooling if you put some a lid on that vessel after cooling it will again form a small water droplets means it will again form into the liquid form same water if you put it into the refrigerator it will again become the ice so reverse is also possible means gas will, will again change into liquid liquid will again change into the solid this is by cooling so this is how the change of states takes place first on heating solid will change into liquid liquid will change into gas and on cooling this gas will again change into liquid and this liquid can can be again change into the solid state so this is how the change of states can take place so you can say that the matter can change its states on heating or on cooling i hope you understood further we will discuss in our next lesson next period the next part of the lesson in next period we will discuss till then take care and bye